The Israeli startup Rewalk is changing the lives of paralyzed people worldwide. And I'm so excited to have the business development manager of this revolutionary startup in the studio today. Thanks for joining us, Ishai. Hi, Natasha. Pleasure being here. So what is Rewalk? Tell us about it. Rewalk is an exoskeleton that is uh, developed for those with spinal cord injury. Um, it enables them to uh, sit, stand, walk, and even uh, climb and decline stairs. And where is this technology available right now? It is available uh, in, here in Israel. It's available across Europe, Northern America, um, even the Asia and Asia Pacific. Wow, and, and so I actually heard that last month the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs said that they'll be buying Rewalk technology, the system, for every disabled U.S. veteran uh, that qualifies to use it. So that is absolutely correct. Uh, those news were uh, very um, exciting for, for all of us to hear. Um, so the, the Veteran Affairs in the U.S. have tested the, the systems for over three years now, and they've come to a conclusion that, um, at, that Rewalk really is beneficial for uh, those uh, veterans who need it, and uh, they are willing to, uh, to purchase uh, for a, anyone that will qualify uh, for a system, both uh, health-wise and uh, usability-wise. So. So how does it work? It sounds like magic. It sounds unreal almost. Well, it, it is sounds like magic, but it's uh, basically you have uh, the metal uh, frame of the exoskeleton um, that's enhanced by uh, four motors. Uh, motors and gears come together with a computer in the backpack. And there's a remote control on the wrist of your hand. Um, basically, if you want to uh, change the mode from sit to stand, you press stand on the remote control. The system will stand you up. Same, if you want to walk, you just press walk. Now you have to tilt your body forward. Uh, there's a tilt sensor in the system. And as long as you keep uh, tilting your body forward, uh, you'll generate step after step and uh, you'll be walking. And I imagine you have to learn how to use this, this system, correct? It's not yeah. just like that. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Uh, you have to do it in designated uh, uh, training facilities, uh, usually in uh, rehab facilities in the hospitals. Wow. So the idea is brilliant, um, but not many people can use the technology right now because of how expensive it is. How are you guys planning to address this? Is it going to be more accessible at a given point? Well, I mean, uh, you have to bear in mind that uh, we, we already have seen uh, insurance companies starting to pay for this, especially in the U.S. and in Germany. Um, just if you bear in mind the cost of rehospitalization and medical, uh, medication reduction, uh, by just being able to stand up and uh, be in an upright position and being able to walk, they actually save money. After uh, three years' time, basically, the system pays for itself. So, and if the veteran affair in the U.S. Uh, decided that it's financially viable, then uh, obviously this is something that, uh, uh, that is cost-effective as well. Absolutely. And this is life-changing technology that's been created by an Israeli company and pioneered by Israelis. How did you guys come up with this idea? Where did you guys begin? Well, 14 years ago, a brilliant um, uh, entrepreneur, uh, Dr. Amit Gopher, a graduate from the Technion, um, he had a terrible uh, ATV accident that left him paralyzed uh, um, and his four limbs, basically quadriplegic. And after one year after his injury, when he stopped taking his medications and he got his clarity back, he started thinking that it couldn't be that uh, nowadays still wheelchair is the only solution available for those with uh, spinal cord injuries. So we, uh, we started working from his garage back home. Literally, uh, it was a garage operation. And he had a prototype. And he went from there to the incubator of the Technion and so forth. And uh, uh, from being a startup, now we, uh, we went for public. And uh, Veteran Affair now uh, decided to, uh, to give us. So um, that's, that's the story behind the company. Right, and, and you have gone public, correct? Yes, about a year and a half ago, we, were, we had a public offering. That's great. That's huge. So in November, we actually covered a story, this incredibly touching story about a disabled Israeli veteran who walked down the aisle after learning um, how to use a rewalk technology. And I just wanted to say that it was such a lovely story, and it's amazing that you guys have made this possible. Yeah. Um, actually, this guy, uh, Dudu Shabi, his name, um, he uh, approached me, and uh, he asked me to, if, if this is possible. It's his dream uh, to be able to walk along the aisle with his wife, and um, he kept it a secret. He didn't tell anyone, obviously, but, but his wife. And then you should have, well, you saw in the, the video over there, the crowd and uh, all his family and uh, family members, everyone was so moved. And um, also personally for us in the company, uh, money can't get you that satisfaction. Um, and it was very rewarding for, for all of us as well. 
I can only imagine. It's amazing what you guys have created, and I'm looking forward to see uh, where it goes and how it changes the world in the future. And thanks so much for coming in. Thank you very much.